Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're unboxing the brand new Garmin Vivo Active 3. Uh, yeah, this is my first look at this new uh, Vivo Active 3. Uh, the only thing I've done here is just uh, open up the little plastic tab here to uh, make it so it's easy to unbox. But this will be my first uh, look at the Vivo Active 3 and my real reaction. So, okay, so you can see here the box, first of all, kind of featuring the watch. And then on the back, we get some information here about the watch, showing uh, battery life information, seven days in watch mode, uh, 13 hours in GPS mode. We got our water rating of five atmospheres, uh, showing that it features Garmin Pay, uh, Connect IQ, and the Connect IQ apps, downloadable workouts, and then Sideswipe. And I don't exactly know what that is, so it'll be interesting as I do my review to uh, take a look at this Sideswipe. This might be a new way of navigating the user interface. Uh, so yeah, here's the new band. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got inside. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it might be. Uh, I wouldn't say it's overly small, but it's not, uh, it's not as large maybe as I had anticipated. So by way of comparison, let me go ahead and pull out the uh, Sunto, the Sunto Sport. Sunto Spartan Sport Wrist HR, and you can see that the Sunto Spartan Sport Wrist HR is definitely bigger in terms of uh, just an actual watch face. And then I also have, for comparison's sake, the, the uh, Phoenix 5 on my wrist, and it just looks like this is going to be substantially smaller than the Garmin Phoenix 5X. This almost looks about the same size as the small Garmin Phoenix 5, so like the Phoenix 5S. This appears to be about the same size as that. It looks sharp. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box here. That camera wasn't working out too well, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this camera just to give you guys kind of a size comparison there. You can see the size comparison between the Phoenix 5X and the uh, the Vivo Active 3. It's, I mean, it's substantial. So and you can see there in terms of... Uh, how big around it is as well. So this is definitely a smaller and a substantially lighter device here with one button on the side in contrast with the Phoenix 5 having five buttons total to navigate the interface. Let's go ahead and look at the back of this device here and show you the heart rate sensor. So this is what the back of the device looks like. It's got kind of a chrome or stainless steel look there which kind of makes it look nice. I don't know if that'll cause uh, slipping issues on the wrist or not, or affect the heart rate accuracy, but we'll find out uh, once I do some, some more testing and reviews. But you can see that it appears to be the exact same heart rate sensor that's on the Phoenix 5X. And also it uses the same charging port. So you can see the charging port here and the charging port here. So in terms of uh, charging and the heart rate sensor, it appears to be basically identical as the uh, Garmin Phoenix 5X. But in all other regards, it does appear to be a very different watch. We don't have the quick disconnect. We do have uh, these little pins, these quick disconnect pins on the inside of the watch straps. So you will be able to swap out these bands with some other watch straps that have the quick disconnect pins uh, on it. And so that's kind of a neat feature, even though it doesn't have the quick disconnect, these should uh, still make it an easy and quick job swapping out new bands. Uh, and then on the, in terms of just looks, this thing is very attractive. I really like the, uh, just the metallic uh, ed or edges here and the metallic backing on it. It just looks real sharp. Even though the watch is mostly a plastic construction, uh, just that little bit of metal just kind of makes it look a little bit more flashy. I'm going to go ahead and take, take one of these pins out just to see how easy it is. Let's see here how quickly and easy this disconnects. Yeah, that easy. Pretty easy. So you can see here, it looks like it's basically a standard watch strap here with just this little quick disconnect end. So that's nice. I like that. And let's see how easy it goes back in. 
Not quite as easy, but there we go. Yeah, snapped back in pretty easily. So yeah, not a quick disconnect, but still pretty convenient. And uh, I really, again, just really like the look of the watch overall. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and uh, see just how it feels in comparison to the Garmin Phoenix 5X. So here it is on the wrist. Let me go ahead and clean off the screen. Got my fingerprints all over it. The screen looks like it's definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet. So you can see just on the wrist, they, it's a pretty substantial difference. This is a much bigger watch than the Vivo Active 3. But that being said, this is, you know, initially my initial impression was that um, the sizing on this was a little small. But now that it's on my wrist, I really like the sizing. I mean, it looks very much like a traditional watch. And it looks nice. I mean, this looks like something I could wear in formal contexts and in the gym, and it kind of fits every situation. It looks nice. Whereas even this here, even if it had a dressier watch strap, this just is a massive watch, and it looks a little bit out of place in a lot of contexts, where this just has a little bit more of a versatile look to it. So I really like that. And gosh, it's on the wrist, it is super comfortable. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else we have in the box here. Yep. Okay, so in the box here we have a charger and uh, another box here full of information, it looks like. Booklets and information inside of there. We'll put that back. Who reads instructions? We don't need that. Okay, but in here we do have the charging cord. And as I new going into it, this charging cord here is going to be the exact same charging cord that charges both the Vivo Active 3 and the, the uh, Phoenix 5X, and actually pretty much any other recent uh, watch that's been released by Garmin. So, so there it is. Uh, you know, I'm really excited to get into my review with this. I'm looking forward to reviewing this watch for a long time. So definitely stay tuned as I uh, have a full review coming out here probably in about 7 to 10 days, taking this through a variety of different uh, exercise tests, which would include um, jogging, cycling, CrossFit-style exercises or boot camp-style exercises, and, of course, uh, gym and strength-based training. So I'm going to put this through a variety of tests to see how it performs and stacks up against, you know, the competition um, and uh, in particular, you know, the new Fitbit Ionic, uh, the Samsung watch, the Suunto trainer that's come out. Those, those are all about the same price point as this watch here. And so it'll be real interesting to see how this watch stacks up against those. So there you have it, guys. That's my unboxing for this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the full review of this watch uh, here in about, again, seven to ten days. So thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed this content, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. The Patreon link is in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.